For centuries, when it came to sport in Yorkshire, the first thing that came to mind would be the tranquility of a game of cricket. But in 2014, that all changed when cycling's biggest race came to town, and with it, a new obsession. As a Yorkshire woman, I'm obviously very proud of kind of the boom in cycling in the last five, six years in Yorkshire. It's always been a cycling county. Uh, there's always been really impressive talents like Beryl Burton um, coming from Yorkshire. But I'd say the community since the Tour de France, the Grand Depart, has really kind of got behind cycling. When announced that Yorkshire would host the 2019 UCI World Championships, it confirmed the area's status as a cycling heartland. And for Yorkshire's most recent world champion, it held more significance than most. When the world was announced for Yorkshire, I was a bit like, wow, this is a long time away. <laughs> um, and I thought, will I still be going then? And I would never have dreamed that I would still be competing and I'd be competing as a mum. The significance goes a step further for Dignan too, with the women's elite road race passing through her hometown of Otley an experience she first enjoyed at the inaugural Women's Tour de Yorkshire in 2016. It's a home world championships in every sense of the word. Like, the way I walk to school is, is the way that I'm going to ride the world championships and ride past my back garden. And it's just going to be an incredible experience for me, but also, I think, for every rider. What every rider can expect is a classic Yorkshire course through lumpy terrain and spectacular scenery. Riders in the 150km women's elite road race will begin in Bradford before heading through the aforementioned Otley. Shortly after, they'll begin the 1.9km climb to Norwood Edge, a rise of just 174 metres, but with an average gradient of 9.2%. The bigger test of climbing legs comes some 30k later, when the riders hit the much longer Loft House, a climb that reaches 18% in its steepest parts. While there'll still be 100 kilometers to go, including three laps of the Harrogate finishing circuit, the two climbs could cause some early damage. Loft Houses has been raced a couple of times in the Tour de Yorkshire and been a defining moment in our race, even though it was, uh, I think it was over 70 kilometers to go in the Tour de Yorkshire, it's still the break went from there. So anything can happen, but um, it's, yeah, it's a really tough climb and, and you need to be at the front there if you've got any chance of winning anyway. The men, meanwhile, will set out from Leeds, Yorkshire's largest city, for their 285-kilometre road race. The route is a near-carbon copy of stage one of the 2014 Tour de France, including three significant climbs, Cray, Buttertops and Grinton Moor. The only addition is seven laps of the 14-kilometre-long Harrogate finishing circuit. With sharp turns and a punchy climb, the loops ensure there'll be no repeat of the bunch sprint seen in 2014, as both the men and women found out when they sampled the circuit at the Tour de Yorkshire. It's lumpy, it's technical, um, it's really important to be at the front. There's a couple of chicanes um, going into quite steep uh, climbs and it's really important to be at the front there. I think if you're anywhere near the back then your race is over so uh, local knowledge and riding at the, the finished lap a few times I think will come in handy. It's a real racers course. Uh, some world championships are based literally on the strongest person going into that race will win it but this is a little bit of a it's going to be very unpredictable um, and it's also going to come down to positioning, tactics, it's, it's going to be an exciting watch. 